I was in my church once, and I was alone in that hall, and uh, I was just standing in the presence of God, and I was trying to do what I what I what I was preaching, what I'm preaching. I was trying to do that, and standing in His presence, and uh, my eyes were closed, and I asked God. God show me a movie, show me a film. And he showed me the entire film of my life. What I was as a Catholic, not born again, worldly, spending time with, with boys on the streets, only son, not obeying, not obeying parents. And then a transformation came into my life. When I gave my life to Jesus, things changed. I was water baptized, spirit filled. I went to Bible college and my track, my destiny changed. I started to serve God. I became a pastor, then I got married, two children. And then I was just standing and tears began to run down my eyes. And I said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. And it was not like, thank you, God. This is what you've done for me. It was like, you should have done, you should have done better. <laughs> oh, thank, you, God. thank you, God. And suddenly, there was this Satan. He came and said, have you locked your house properly? Have you locked your house properly? There are thieves all around, have you locked your house? And being in the flesh, human and being as I am, more weaker than many of you sitting here, I opened up my eyes and I said, oh, did I lock my house? And this is what happened to me. As I turned to go outside to the church, See, normally when you turn, you don't turn like this. Do you, have you, when, when you turn, how do you turn? You turn like this, isn't it? Okay, you don't turn like this. I'm turning. Don't tell the world that I'm turning. You just turn gently. But that turn away from the house of God was a different turn. It was like when I turned, somebody pulled my hand like this. Like as if trying to hold my hand. And I heard this voice saying, is it all the time that you have for me? Why do you worry whether you have locked your house or not? There are angels protecting your house. And I wept and I said, I'm sorry Lord, I should have given you more time. I should have given you more time. When I stood there, I don't know for how many hours or minutes or whatever, just looked at God, looked at God. Practice this, my dear people. Practice the art of just sitting in His presence. You will love it every day. Pastor Ben, you will love it every day. I was so blessed to see Pastor Ben up in the morning in that, in that hall on top, in that room. When I walked in, I said, maybe Pastor Ben hasn't come to church yet. But when I went up, I saw him covered with that Jewish uh, shawl. And he was spending his time, the quiet time with God. God speaks and he gives beautiful revelation of his word in the quiet time. He gives the gems of his word. He reveals the hidden secrets of his word in the quiet time. Rachel, there was love between Rachel and Jacob. What church are you going to? Are you going to a church which is full of Leah, Leah kind of people, weak, delicate, low conscience, looking at the watch, I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. Or are you going to a church that belongs to Rachel? Where there is worship, there is praise, there is the presence of God. There is the beauty and the holiness of God coming down. There is singing and there is dancing and there is rejoicing in the presence of God. Jacob loved Rachel. Rachel loved Jacob. She was not satisfied with just a few songs. She was not just satisfied in reading the word of God. She was wanting, wanting to know the God of the word. She was just not satisfied in just listening to a message. She was wanting to get more out of Jacob. She loved Jacob. 
the Jacob love relationship. Jacob speaks to me in this verse, the Lord Jesus Christ. He looks at me, he loves me, and he wants me to spend time with him. The biggest problem we Christians are facing is spending time with God. We have all the time for everything on the, on the earth. For God's people, make it a vow today. Promise God, Lord, I'm going to spend half an hour with you. I'm going to spend one hour with you, whether it costs me early morning or late night, but I'm going to spend time with you. It's beautiful spending time with God. It's lovely to spend time with God. It's amazing what God does in that quiet time. You are crying for healing. You are crying for things. You are crying for peace. Lord, heal me. Lord, heal me. Just God walk into His presence. For you, except that you and I just need to spend time with God. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to say, yes, Lord, I would be, I, I, I belong to Rachel's church. She was beautiful in form and appearance. And God is looking at a church that is beautiful in form and appearance. It's not the outward thing that God looks for. It's the inward heart. We need to be beautiful in our heart, in our form, and in our appearance, and how, how we come in the presence of God, and how we worship Him. Silence with God. Hardness with God. Spending time with God. 